Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I'm Erastus from Garment Creations. And on this channel, you get tips and tricks to amplify your t-shirt business. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. We'll also appreciate it if you can join the Facebook group. It's called Fire Up The Heat Press. And on that group, you can post your work, get advice, ask questions. Today in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how you can do this viral Spotify album cover plot thing that people are doing. And I've seen it on Facebook. I've seen it everywhere on the internet right now. And I thought I should just walk you through how you can come up with something like that when you're using sublimation. You can follow the same concept and do it on like your silhouette, your cricket. But for today, we're gonna focus on doing it on sublimation and we're gonna probably sublimate it on a canvas or something. gonna happen on the computer so I'm gonna walk you to what needs to happen on the computer and then we will jump over print it and try to apply it the first thing you want to go ahead on your computer there's a few things that you want to look for there is you want to have the shop the song that you want to do so the first thing I'm gonna to go to Spotify here it's just spotify.com and I want to find my song that I want to make this album plot off. So mine is Waymaker, Waymaker by Michael W. Smith. And all I did right here, find the song, I just type in the song title, Waymaker. And then I know this is the song. Okay, that's the song they just selected. I don't want to click on it to play it or nothing. But I got my song here, all right? That's my song, it's ready for me. And then what you need also, you need like this play button action panel down here. Or you can go and support a creator. I did see this link on another video. Go ahead and support this creator or this content creator on Etsy. And I will list their, the link down below. I have no idea who this person is, but they do have this button here that you can buy for two fifteen. dollars you know, just to support them. Or you can make it yourself, whatever. But just for this video, I'm going to add this to my cart, support them, pay that $2, and then we'll be able to use that freely. Cool. So once you do that, they're going to send you a download link. I'm just going to refresh, give it a second. The download link is going to be available where you can download this thing here. Okay, so once you refresh real quick, you get the download link. I'm just going to download that onto my computer. So after I download it, I get the file on my computer here. It comes in as a zip file. So I'm going to right click, open in folder. Once I open in folder, I'm going to extract all. By just right clicking extract all hit extract there bam 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 the folder here and you, you find the file type that you want we're probably going to mess with the png and this is the png file here so we're going to leave that for now we already know where it's at so now we'll jump back over to spotify we already went ahead we already have our song what you want to do here on this song area you want to copy this link you want to copy this link because this link here is what's going to get you the song code. The code that you're going to be able to paste or print out. And then once it's scanned, you'll be able to find that song. So I'm just going to go to copy this. And then into like open a new window. Just search Spotify code. Once you search Spotify code, you'll get this link here. And... That link that you just copied, you want to paste it down here and then get code. So what, what happens there, it gives you a code and then I'm going to hit download. I've already downloaded it. It's on my computer right here. Okay, so I've already downloaded. So now we have that. Now the next thing that you're going to need is the album cover, you know. And what I did with the album cover, I knew my song. So I just went to Google and hit Waymaker album cover. And this here is my album cover. 
and I'm just going to save this one. I'm not sure if I already saved it. I'm going to save this image and onto my computer. So I'm actually going to do this in Affinity Designer because right now my Photoshop is not opening up for some reason. So I'm going to go to File, New here, and I'm going to set my document size 8.5 by 11, 300 DPI on the inches, and we're going to do it in portrait mode. And that's all we're going to do here. I'm just hit Create. So now at this point here, we have our 8.5 by 11, and all we have to do is just put everything together the way we want it to print. So the first thing I'm going to bring in here, I'm going to go to File, Place. It'll be the same steps if you're using like Photoshop. You can do this in Silhouette, like whatever platform you have that will print the size of whatever canvas you're using. Some people are doing this in their Silhouette and they're putting it just on like glass. It's all good using decal, whatever, sticker vinyl. Whatever you're doing, <clears throat> you just figure out your method of printing. But like I said, I'm going to do this in. So I'm going to bring in my album cover. Boom. Here's my album cover. I'm going to just place it where I want it at. Okay. This happens to be one of my songs, y'all. Like Because it's true that... God himself is definitely a way maker and he's been a way maker in my life. And this song just gets me there. So I'm going to place my second thing down here, which happens to be the code, which is cool right now, like that. I'm going to also bring in the music player we downloaded. Just finding everything now. I know we download this as a... We can bring in the SVG file. And we're going to resize that. Just going to make it a little bigger here. Make sure it's nice and centered, center aligned, because that's how it's going to be. Same thing with this here. I'm going to make sure. I Center align it. Okay. But so that's what you got. You got your code. This is the code down here. This is the code. You can make the code a little bigger. Make your code a little bigger right there. And your album cover is in. Okay, you got the song, the play button there. You got the code. You got the song, album cover. And now, this is good. You can fill in this bottom if you want so it's not white when you print it out. But right now, it's cool. But if you're doing this in decal, you won't have to worry about that because that's going to be transparent okay you can do this in decal and then do the top here in like sticker sticker vinyl or sticker paper just print it out and then stick it onto your thing but like i said i wanted to show you guys how to do this on canvas and sublimation cool so now the next thing is to just jump over and print this artwork. So I'm going to print it and we'll jump over to the heat press here and get it printed for you. So all the items that we're going to need to do this, I have my canvas, which is a nice flat surface. You can also do this method on glass. And what's going to make us sublimate on this is our laminator. You can also get this laminator. Okay, the one that I got is the laminator in this packet right here that's the laminator that i have of which i'll drop the link down in the description so i just grab my laminator i got my canvas and we have our artwork okay this artwork i'm printing it on the crafty besties paper that's where i'm printing this thing on so the first thing when you're using this 
this um, laminator, there's a dark side and there is a shiny side. You want to lay it down in the way where the shiny side is faced up. And I'm going to do this in a way where I'm going to have access on the, on the outer borders. Of course, I'm going to protect my heat press at the bottom here. And I'm going to cover this thing. So essentially, all you're doing here is just melting the, the, the plastic onto the canvas. So you're just melting the, the laminator onto the canvas. So I'm only going to press it for like 10 to 15 seconds. And I'm using my 16 by 20 auto open heat press from Heat Transfer Warehouse. I did a review on this that I throw up on the card. You can go ahead and check it out. So at this point, this thing is melted on there. As you can see, what I also like to do, I want to like, you can do it in the way where you fold. You can fold up the access right here. It is kind of hot. And sorry, I don't have gloves. So I'm going to use a shirt here. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to try to fold this thing over. Because the plastic is still hot. You fold it over. You get that nice clean border. Okay. That's how I get my borders here. Because this is plastic. It's going to stick and it's going to melt. You may have to hit it again so the plastic gets warm or gets hot. I'm going to do the same thing just to get that plastic to stay hot. All right. I did this on Instagram and people were asking how did I get my edges so clean? This is how I got my edges clean. I just melted the plastic on the border. So at this point, we have our canvas nice and ready. The border is folded behind it. And I'm gonna take my image now. Get the placement right. I'm gonna flip this thing over. Okay, I'm gonna grab a piece of tape just to hold me down. Put a piece of tape right here. I should have made this a little bigger, but it's all good. If you found value to this video go ahead and smash the like button one time for your boy and press this thing for the recommended 60 seconds okay this is the part that i love about this machine the auto open feature is incredible look at that just like that it auto opened and everything is good nice and hot. I'm going to make sure my plastic that I rolled around the edges stay down. I'm just rolling it around so that plastic cools down in place. This one here is sticking out so we just have to cut that off. It's totally fine. We have our code like this is it's nice and hot so y'all bear with me i should get some gloves but for right now this is what we have like you can see you don't really see it well on the camera but i promise you this thing came out nice and bright and vibrant of course with cosmos ink and like I told you, we're using the besties papers. Let 
And just like that, this is what our finished product looks like. Nice and vibrant and all of that good stuff. If you found value to this video, go ahead, smash the like button one time for your boy. And like I said, you can do this on glass. You can definitely do this on glass. You can do this same process if, as long as it's flat. You can use the laminator to do it on there. Okay, so drop a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about the video. And also, let me know what else you you did this on. Tag me on Instagram at Garmin Creations. If, you, if you're interested in taking your business to the next level, I would like to invite you to join the Heat Press University. Okay, so the information to Heat Press University is down below into the description of this video. All right, so until next time, smash the like button, throw some hearts on this thing here. I love y'all. Keep firing up that Heat Press, and I'm out of here.